What's up friends and welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm the information overlord himself, Johnny Rogers. If you happen to be new to the channel, we find the most interesting news stories on the internet and then we make them more entertaining. Plus, we're giving away money. Yeah, that's right. If you go to our Instagram page, at Inform Overload, then like and comment on the photo of Charlotte, you'll be entered to win a Visa gift card worth $75. So go do that now. And if you stick around until the end, I'll be answering some of your comments from previous videos. The Australian Koala Foundation is reporting that there are currently only 80,000 koalas left in the wild. Now, you may say to yourself, 80,000, isn't that a lot? Well, not exactly. That number is significantly lower and it also means that they are functional functionally extinct. For the koalas, that number means that they are highly unlikely to give birth to the next generation. When something becomes functionally extinct, it means that the population is so low that it virtually has no effect on its environment now. It also means that there are no pairs of breeding adults or it's suffering from a genetic disease. Basically anything that is beyond our control and leads to the extinction of a species. More shocking than that is the fact that in 41 of the 128 federal environments where koalas are known to inhabit, they've completely gone missing. Koalas do have a tendency to move around a lot and alter their habitat, which makes them kind of hard to track. But researchers are starting to believe that it's more than that. The number of koalas are on a steep decline. In 2016, there were approximately 330,000 koalas in Australia, so now 80,000 sounds crazy low. A lot of this decline is due to the animals losing their habitat to deforestation and major heat waves that cause climate change. A recent study also suggested that the heat wave was so intense that it resulted in a lot of the species dying from dehydration alone. Since 2012, the koalas have been listed under the Vulnerable Species section, which was put together by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Deborah Tabar, the chairman of the Koala Foundation, had this to say on the matter. I am calling on the new prime minister after the May election to enact the Koala Protection Act, which has been written and ready to go since 2016. The plight of the koala now falls on his shoulders. This is especially important for Australia to get behind as many of the vulnerable koalas inhabit Queensland. New South Wales and the Australian Capital Territory. Now, as I mentioned, because they're being called functionally extinct, they believe that the koala has no more impact on its environment. Although, they actually play a bigger role in Australia's ecosystem than we think. Koalas actually help keep the forest population healthy by munching on the tops of the tree leaves and even fertilizing the forest floor with their poop. Yeah, I said poop. We want to hear your thoughts on this story though, so comment down below with how you would save the koalas from functional extinction. Now let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Burger King Trolls McDonald's with Release of Unhappy Meals. Andrew says, the unhappy meal should have been released on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I feel like that would have made great timing. That or April Fools. Honey Bear says, I can finally eat my depression away. You and me both, Honey Bear. Austin Madura says, I honestly prefer Burger King over McDonald's. You take that back. You take that back right now. Take it back. Gia Princess says, I thought it would be from Wendy's because they troll and roast everybody. Wendy's is more of a Twitter troll, but yeah, this seems like something the owners told Burger King to do though. Shoot Me says, I want this, but I live in Canada. Any other Canadians want to head down to Texas or New York? Yo, I'm down. Hit me up. Thank you for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you want any more videos like this one, just click that playlist on the side of the screen. And if you find any news stories that you want us to cover, send a DM to the Inform Overload Instagram page. And if we like it, you may just see your story on our channel. And while you're there, don't forget to enter our contest by liking and commenting on the photo of Charlotte, and you could win a $75 Visa gift card. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.